Welcome to Lab Safety 101. Meet Safety Steve and Negligent Nancy. Together they will show you the do's and the don'ts of lab etiquette. As you can see, Safety Steve is properly dressed for lab. He is wearing goggles, gloves, protective clothing, pants, and closed-toed shoes. Negligent Nancy, on the other hand, is missing gloves, goggles, and shoes. Plus, her hair isn't up. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Come on, gang. Let's follow these two through the first day of lab. Looks like someone decided to bring their breakfast to lab. Hold on there, Nancy, says Safety Steve. No food, drink, or gum allowed in lab. I see you're trying to get your daily dose of vitamin C, but in this lab, you're likely to pick up a large dose of vitamin nasty. What are you thinking, negligent Nancy? Nancy may think a refrigerator is the ideal place for her breakfast, but this is no ordinary fridge. It's meant to store chemicals and organisms, which could turn your breakfast into a biohazard. Safety Steve says, Can't you read, Nancy? No food or drink may be stored in this refrigerator. It appears Nancy has her hands full. Here Nancy has two choices, store her winter wardrobe in the storage cabinet or toss them on the floor. Oh, seems that negligent Nancy has once again made a poor choice. Watch out Safety Steve, your walkway isn't as clear as you thought. Not only can leaving items on the floor result in damage to expensive equipment, but can cause serious injury to yourself or others. Luckily, Safety Steve appears to be A-OK. -okay. Oh shucks, Nancy. Safety Steve says, come on Nancy, let's properly store this deadly winter wardrobe in the cabinet. Oh no! Broken glass and a chemical spill? What is Nancy to do? Come on Nancy, let's go, says Safety Steve. We need to alert the professor immediately. Although you may feel that you can handle the mess you made, let the professionals handle this one. Speaking of professionals, no one is better qualified than Dr. Swan to teach you proper lab technique and safety, but it counts for nothing if you're texting, like negligent Nancy. Remember, always pay attention to Dr. Swan's instruction, like our safety Steve over here. How does this whatchamacallit work? This looks good enough for me, says Nancy. <laughs> oh, Nancy. Yes, even Safety Steve is baffled by this one. But instead of taking matters into his own hands, like Nancy, he confidently raises his hand to ask for further instruction. Dr. Swan, happily, shows the two how to properly use this equipment. Eureka! It all becomes clear to our dynamic duo. Remember, if you're ever unsure of how to use any lab equipment, do not hesitate to ask Dr. Swan. Are you really going to mouth pipette that hydrochloric acid, Nancy? You bet you're safe honey I am, Steve. After a visit to the emergency room, Safety Steve shows Nancy how to properly use a pipette. Oh, I get it. Like this, says Nancy. <laughs> oh, Nancy and your shenanigans. You know horseplay is strictly forbidden in the laboratory. Luckily, 
Safety Steve always remembers to wear his goggles. No hydrochloric acid in these eyes. This sure is heavy, says Nancy. Seriously, Nancy, says Steve. Let me show you how to properly carry a microscope. Securely hold the back and the base of the scope using both hands, making sure the cord is secure also. Nancy has accumulated quite a layer of biofilm on her hands. <laughs> hold on there, sport, says Steve. You're not leaving lab without washing your hands, are you? Remember, always wash hands before and after lab. Through proper lab training, negligent Nancy's not so negligent anymore, all thanks to Safety Steve. Now she's ready to take her skills and help others learn lab safety.